Hey, what's up everybody around the world? Welcome back to another tutorial, back to another structural engineer topic. Today I'm going to share with you how to model conflict footing design in Revis. Oh wow, did everybody hear that? I might just discover dirt. In the beginning, we will model our footing by using our model in place. Then after that, we will using our plan tool to make that because our side of footing is different for bottom and the top. For bottom, our side is about 1 meter and the top is about 100 millimeter. That's why we need to use our plan tool. And the last thing, I will manually my rebar inside my footing by using our existing tool in our with structural template so I think for this project instead of using our architectural template I will using our structural template the reason for that because it easier for us to model that and we didn't need to load our previous rebar shape inside that because we using our structural template okay so I think it's pretty much for introduction let's speak into our project together Okay, so here is my previous model. We will model same as our previous one and we will walk through and quick overview together. As you can see here, our footing is like this for the bottom one is bigger and the top one is smaller and we will run our reinforcement like this. And of course I got indicate here also but if you want to know how to indicate that, you can take a look on my previous tutorial. Of course, I will put link in description because we got three main ways to make our rebar color. Now it's time to model our footing. I prefer using our structural template as I introduced. Control N for shortcut key. Then I will using our structural template. Then it's okay. Once I done that, the bit will be transform me to another page. Okay, so here we are on level 2. I need to go to my level 1 first, then I will close my level 2. Open my 3D as well, like this. Then first thing I need to go to our model in place. Then we finding for structural foundation, it's okay. Once we done that, we need to hit OK again by rename that. And first thing I need to get our shape by using our blank tool because blank tool we draw our bottom and the last, last thing we draw our top so I can start from rectangle because our footing is rectangle start like this adjustment our side letter make it 1 meter by 1 meter and make here 1 meter as well hit us get a couple time then I can make our thickness from bottom to top make it for 1 0.2 meter then go to edit top make it 100 so we need to offset it for 150 for every corner hit a spec key for changing direction like this hit a sketch then I can hit finish assign for a material as well concrete like this then I will assign for parametric create new concrete it's okay once I done that, I can hit finish. Go to my 3D over there. As you can see here, I can change it to hidden line. Then I want to hide my elevation. VG for shortcut key. Annotation. Finding for character L because it's level. Apply and it's OK. Then it's time to create our reinforcement. First thing, I will start from front view like this. It's like my footing here. As you can see here, now our rebar is activated because we're using our foundation. Go to rebar tab. Instead of using our freeform rebar, I will focus on sketch rebar for this project. Sketch rebar, select our footing like this. It's okay. As you can see here, now I can draw my rebar there. I will using our rectangle. Start draw like this. Then I can finish. Hit escape first because our rebar is come from big until smaller, smaller until the top here. So we need to click here first. Go to this sketch rebar again. That's like another one. Then I will re offset it. Just offset is for 20. Then rectangle again. Just follow my step here. Hit spike key. Okay. Then again. So I'm going to do the rest here. Make it 40. I live 
Okay, so now we done all of them. What thing need we, we need to do next? First thing I need to adjustment us like like this. Then we will move it up for 200 millimeter because I want every spacing is 200. As you can see here, now if I this is the reason I draw like this. Start again. Then you need to move again, just slowly one by one. Just continue that. Then the last one is one meter. Hit us get a couple time. Okay. Let me see first. I think we is like the wrong rebar step. I think we need to move this one down first. Move it 400. Yep. Then I will move this one up first. Move it up for 400. Okay. And here we need to adjustment. I think because we is like wrong direction. Slowly selection is the best way instead of confusing. But don't worry about that, we can show that. Okay, as you can see here, the reason I need to do that is I use our existing bottom one and copy all of them. Our rebar will be showing up outside, will be extend until here and here. That's why I need to use something like this. Then the next thing I will select all of them, then activate for solid rebar. How to activate that? First thing you need to select all of them, then go to our uh, property. I will change it for 13 is enough for me for this footing because it's quite small. Then I'm going to drag it down, finding for graphic view visibility. Go to edit. Then you need to turn on view as solid all. It's okay. Then change it to fine again, as you can see here. Now what we need to do next, we need to bend our rebar because here it's just going like this. I will bend it for 90 degree, just like, like this. Then finding for hop and, and length, make it for 180 degree. As you can see here, 800 is too much, 180 is too much. Uh, I will change it to 90 degree. Okay, perfect. Then we will do our rest here. Okay, make it for 90 degree. Okay, perfect. Now it's time to create on another rebar. Go to level one, RP. I will create another reference. Start like this. Then I will extend here. Make it for one, RP again. Create another reference line, like this. Then here I need to offset also. Make it for two. Hit us get a couple time. Go to my 3D over there. Then I can go to select my footing. Rebar. I will sketch rebar again. Sketch again. Set a plan. Set by name. We're using our reference one. It's okay. As you can see here. Now our rebar cover is showing up. We can start draw that. I will start draw here like this. Let's get then I will make it for 200 for offset. Then can change it to 10 millimeter. I can finish as you can see here. Then I can start like this start from left side. Let's try change it to quick number. Okay, then I will start like this. I think six is enough as you can see here. Then I can select all of them like this. We activate for our solid rebar also. 
okay as you can see here it's quite good for connection from here to here then what's next you need to do i need to create another rebar on the bottom there as you can see here, here i need to move up start from bottom here then i will be using my arrow key to move it up as you can see here our rebar is going to fit with our outside rebar here i will move it more because it's easier for me to draw another one once i done that i will select my footing again go to rebar tab then rebar like this then we need to set a work plan this time we will set for reference plan tool it's okay as you can see here start like this then i will start from left side just draw it out like this hit a sketch then make it for 200 200 is too much make it 400 and make another one is 100 like this hit a sketch then i will just hit finish make it for maximum with fake number i think let's turn around here sketch select here change it to fake number okay i think we add more just change it to number of spacing start like this then i can move it up like this okay then make it 450 more too much make it for Okay, I think 120. 120 is too much. 65. Okay, it's perfectly. Change it to fit number. Then I can adjustment here. As you can see here, you can add until the way like this. Then I will activate all of them. Then I will move it up, just move it up like this. Okay, perfectly. As you can see here. So what I'm going to do next. Now I will give you a bonus because my tutorial actually we focus on our reinforcement only. But I will give you a bonus to model our steel plate with our structural column here. Still here. Go back to my level 1 again. Then I can go to our steel tab using our plats just draw it out i will just simply draw it out like this make it for like this then i will make it for 300 300 by 300 i think hit a sketch then i'm going to move it up just move it Then we need to move it another 150. Okay, so now it's balancing. Just hit finish. Then go to my 3D here. Okay, because we working on the web one, that's why our steel plate is on the bottom. So we need to offset there, or you can straight away move up. Just um V for move. Make sure you turn on for this joint. I will start like this until the top here okay so now our swan is disappeared so how should we saw that first thing i need to draw it again start from bottom here instead of using our steel plate i will go to our structural tab our column then go to level one i just simply press it up like this hit a sketch go to my 3d here then i will move it up make it for zero and change it to level 2 and make it for 0 just offset it for 1.2 meter supply okay as you can see here then what i'm going to do next i'm going to our steel tab set a plan pick a plan i will pick for top here okay start from top here flats rectangle i will just draw it up like this 
then it's time to offset that I will make it 350 okay another side make it 400 and here make it 350 so mid extend from here to here 50 and it as like here will be extend from here to here another 50 400 hit as get just hit finish go to our steel tab again boss angle boss then it's like here hit enter then select our steel plate again rectangle start from here until here then i can hit finish Then I can adjustment here, just change it to set easier. Change our standard to, let me take a look a while. German tree angle, then I will change it more bigger, 24. So the next step, I will edit our edit stand here. Just offset 400 and make it 400 as well. Just apply, as you can see here. Then I can add another steel plate. Let's add up, apply. Okay, we cannot. We will add another side here. As you can see here, I think we will add four. Okay, perfect. Then I will change our diameter to 30 millimeter. Of course, I will change our depth also, make it 100. Costing, I will make it for stainless steel A2. Let's apply. Okay. As you can see here that how you can model your footing with your skate bar in Revit okay guys I think it's pretty much for this tutorial this tutorial just a quick tutorial for you guys about the reinforcement rebar thank you guys for joining me from start to finish if you like this tutorial make sure hit subscribe button below and click the bell icon for turn on notification thank you guys for watching and I see you for another tutorial in Revit and have a nice day thank you